In this video, I'm going to explain what each of the Voltaic ranks mean. I'd recommend sticking around past your ranks so you can see what your goals and what other people's ranks mean. Now this is just my opinion, but I'm someone who's spent hundreds of hours playing these benchmarks and I have friends at pretty much every point other than Astra, so I feel like I know them pretty well. Also keep in mind, in-game ranks have a ton of factors like positioning, game sense, movement, and all that stuff, so I can really only give rough estimates, and also different games emphasize different categories, like if you're really good at static clicking, that won't help you very much if you play Apex Legends. So starting from the bottom, Bronze and Iron, in my opinion, are actually underrated. A lot of people treat these ranks as no one should ever hit them unless it's like you're a grandmother who's never seen a mouse before, and I don't really think this is entirely true, and it's insanely demoralizing for people who do start there. In reality, a lot of people start here, especially people with like a year or less of FPS experience. Silvers and Golds are your intermediates and casual level aimers. People at this level are pretty average. If they play with IRL casual friends, there's a good chance they're that guy who's slightly better than everyone else in the group, but really not great. Voltaic Plat is weird. I know people who've hit Immortal 3 and Bronze 3 and Valorant with a ton of Plat scores and no Diamond scores. I'd say at this level, your aim really isn't good enough to be used as a crutch, but it's also not so bad that it'll hold you back if you're good at other things. I've heard estimates that only about 5% of people would be diamond if everyone were to benchmark from a game, and I have no idea if it's true or not, but from working with Radiance and Immortals and knowing they're like top 2 or 3% of players, I can say that this 5% number does seem like it would be pretty accurate. People who get Jade and Master tend to be really good. Most of the Radiance and Immortals I make routines for are around this level, at least in stats. These people are good aimers, and the skill gap between Plat and Master is a lot larger than Iron and Plat. What this means is that as the ranks get higher, it tends to become harder to go from rank to rank. Grandmaster and up is pretty much just aim trainer mains, and after Nova, everyone is focusing on scores in an aim trainer and not getting better in game. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with people just doing what they enjoy. If you want to go get Astra, go get Astra, but if you want to be Radiant and Valorant, then going and getting Astra is really just overkill. Let me know what rank you guys are in the comments. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.